But as I was saying, Carrie Mobley is joining us once again. I mentioned this a little while ago. It is the most adorable little addition to your backyard. Again, from Fieldsmith, it's the Insect Hotel. We hear so much about the bees and things that are important, uh, of course, to, uh, to uh, the ecosystem and the environment. This is great for them, but so many other things like ladybugs and whatnot. You're not only giving them a great home, it's something that looks fabulous in your yard, and you're just gonna enjoy watching this from the window, right? Okay, so I have so much to say about this. Okay. And it's always really confusing to people, like Insect Hotel, what do I wanna like give a place for our insects to be? Yeah. We all have heard about the devastating news about the declining population sure. of pollinating bees. And without trying to scare anybody, the reason is it's because we now live in a world where we are surrounded by pesticides. And so they are dying off. And just because of the way the world is, where we've got industry building up and houses going up everywhere, they're finding it difficult to find places to live, to lay their eggs. And that's not just those bees. It's the lace wings. It's the ladybugs. It's these beautiful, beautiful creatures like butterflies who have no place to seek refuge. So I want you to know that this is a very, very adorable, beautiful piece it's of your cute. of your yard. Mine is literally sitting just right in my garden, but I'm just going to turn it around to the back and show you that you can hang it as well. You know, just get yourself some twine or something and you can hang it on a shepherd's hook. You can even nail it to a tree. And what this is going to do is this is now going to give a place for those good insects mm -hmm. to come. They can seek shelter during a storm. They can hibernate when it is those colder months. Nah. And they can lay their eggs and have their family in here. It's going to take them some time to realize that that's what it's for because a lot of times, you know, it's just got there and they're not going to jump right in. So be patient and that's why it's so important that it's adorable. But this is made of pine and bamboo and metal. And each one of these little compartments, all these little nooks and crannies, attract a certain kind of insect. You can see here that we have it just sitting up on our little potting bench. Um, it's really gonna be up to you to where you would like to put it. But like I said, I have mine right in my garden. See, I so, would put this where I could see it out a window. Sure. So that chair that maybe I sit in to watch television or, or the dinner table, I would like to be able to watch what's going on. So all of these little holes right here, Carrie, uh -huh. these are where your pollinating bees are gonna go. We're really? not talking about the hornets and wasps, right? We don't right. want that. But this is where our honeybees are gonna go. Aww. They can lay their eggs in there. They can seek shelter up here. This is where our ladybugs are gonna go. And then we have our lace wings. They're gonna be down here and they eat aphids and ladybugs, they eat mosquitoes. So not only are they gonna have a place to seek shelter so that you can help perpetuate the good insects, the pollinators, mm -hmm. but now you can avoid using those nasty insecticides because you're gonna have the natural solution right here and for such an incredible price. Mm -hmm. And it's so adorable, it's, it's adorable. I mean, this in your garden, this right outside a window where you can view it and all of your beautiful foliage is just gonna be so fun. Everyone's gonna come over and say, what in the world is that? Well, I had my first ladybug in mine, and I've had mine out there for about three or four weeks. So it does take some time, but be patient. But she was happily just going up. There no, we go. Could exactly. you imagine having that to look at? And for, I mean, that little bee, look at he goes out and backwards. And a science lesson. Back you know, <laughs> not, not just for your kids or for your grandkids, but mm -hmm. also for you. I mean, I really think it's important. And I appreciate everybody who is calling in right now and getting this because as a human being on planet Earth, mm -hmm. it means a lot to me that we continue to have these pollinators and that we can get away from having those nasty insecticides. Ladybugs, they will eat all kinds of those nasties that you don't want. And even butterflies, there is a place here for those smaller butterflies to come in here and they can lay their eggs and they can come right out. So you're gonna get all kinds Cute. of little creatures in here, but just the ones that we want. You don't have to worry about this drawing in those nasty insects. And again, those pollinators are gonna go right in here. Well, and you don't have to do anything. You don't place food, you don't do anything like that. You hang it up and then you let nature take its course. I wanted to jump in and say that we have 500 of these remaining. So if you're already thinking Mother's Day, if you're thinking fun teacher's gifts, uh, I want you to jump in the ordering process because we're expecting all of these to go. It's under $10 on your charge card. They could not be any more precious. Right, and I love that they are twofold because they are cute. And yeah. since it's gonna take a little bit of time for those insects to find this in your yard or in your garden or wherever you might have it hanging, yeah. I love that it's just so pretty. I mean, I posted a picture on Facebook the other day with it sitting with a bunch of my peonies and everybody was like, oh, that's so cute, where did you get it? Yeah. It's like, it is cute. 
It is cute and I do love it, but it serves a much bigger yes. uh, purpose as well. And so to all of you who are picking it up, thank you for doing your part because we want to make sure that those wonderful pollinating um, insects, like the bees, like the butterflies, that they're going to have a place to seek refuge, to lay their eggs because it's slowly drying up. They're, I mean, have you heard about that bee epidemic? Yeah, it's, it's, it's scary. scary. It's, it, is. it is very scary. So for under $20 um, to be able to do something is, is really exciting. Pine, bamboo, and metal comes with a one-year warranty as well. It's under $10 on your trip.